This is a very small painting. It's two and a half by three and a half inches. You can carry it in your pocket or your purse. You can actually carry 50 of them in your pocket and uh, have a little gallery when you go to the coffee shop. If anybody wants to buy them, just say certainly. You know, you can paint another one. The pen is a um, Uniball Deluxe. It has to be a Deluxe in order for it to be waterproof. And the uh, paper that I'm painting on now is uh, Strathmore watercolor paper. The 400 series, but the 300 series is, works equally well. This is a um, fantasy <laughs> cartoon little boat that uh, something like the yellow submarine of the Beatles although it could uh, it, it could be a real boat sitting on the on a river or in a very very sheltered location where the waves are not too great it's running at uh, x2 speed so that it doesn't take so long and it gets kind of boring watching just watching me draw at uh, x2 I think you get the full picture the uniball pens if they're black in color if they in the uniball um, deluxe model if they're black in color they're a point zero five millimeter that's quite fine and if they're silver in color they are a point zero seven millimeter slightly wider line all the colors I use are Cotman by Windsor Newton they are uh, quite resistant to fading in ultraviolet light and the colors are fairly intense they uh, don't have the pigment load of the professional watercolors but they certainly are satisfactory for um, any application like this and they do not fade in, in ultraviolet light which is quite important I'm doing the uh, cabin of the houseboat in gray in order to move it forward when I put the yellow on and it's a Payne's gray that we're using in the background here for the mountains a little bit of purple on the doors and accessories a little bit of blue on the pots ultramarine blue the brown was uh, burnt sienna and sometimes a little bit of burnt umber in it to make it darker if you want it darker I think it's a cute little boat with all of its antennas and plant pots and so on it's like a little fantasy cartoon the size of a uh, playing card you can get a lot of pleasure doing these little paintings the cost is almost zero and uh, the, the pleasure you get from it is very great and you can paint them for a lifetime have a lifetime of pleasure 
The birds are in the skies predominantly to tie the sky with the painting. Since everything is all interconnected, the sky, the water, the mountains, the boat, in reality, nothing stands alone. Putting a little shadow underneath all of the eaves and boards helps to bring the boat forward. That little uh, plant was painted in red, but it didn't show up too red on the on the video. The yellow goes good with the blue. They're complementary colors and they work quite well together. Or let's say the yellow complements the blue or makes it stand out better. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I truly enjoy doing these little paintings. Have a good day.